Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And yeah, look at what we're looking at here. Winds at 28 miles per hour. So far today, I've got 0.34 inches of rain. It's raining right now. It's 75 here in the cabin, 46 degrees outside. So I got about uh, uh, 29 degrees or so. Uh, more comfortable in here than it is outside. 88% humidity because it is raining. Should be 100. Anyway, you can't go by the 0.35 here because uh, there was 0 0.01 on the meter before it, this storm started. And it's not over yet. It looks like it's going to uh, be raining here well into uh, 7 8 o'clock. So it is election day. I did get out to vote. I hope the rest of you did too. And uh, we'll see what the results are coming up here pretty soon. Um, they've been following them all day long at uh, www.frankspeech.com. Frank speech being all one word. And uh, you can go on there and, and check out the election results because they actually have teams around the country and they've invited people to uh, log in and give their um, observances as to anything that they've seen that might be illegal or uh, controversial in any of the election places. And there's been a lot of stuff coming in. It's been pretty interesting. Anyway, um, let me show you outside here. Uh, it's a little dark out there, but uh, you can see there's... A little bit of water running down the roads here, puddles here and there, and uh, the dogs are all huddled together inside their coop right now trying to stay uh, warm and dry. It's a little smarter than it was yesterday because they, some of them went out in the rain, but uh, they all got a free bath due to that, so that was a good thing. So let's come over to this window, and you can see... The rain hitting the window and running down the glass. So yeah, those uh, two totes out there catching water off of the roof of the containers in the garage are almost half full now. So you can say that's one full container which is uh, 275 gallons of water. And then I've got barrels like that one right there at uh, each of the four corners of the cabin here and they're just about topped off now and there's a lot more rain to come. Uh, I did check the uh, weather and the four different uh, weather reports and it's shown that the, um, the, the brunt of the storm isn't even here yet. It's going to hit here in about uh, two and a half to three hours and um, there was yellow and even some red in the uh, the satellite uh, radar, so that's showing some pretty heavy stuff gonna be coming. So hopefully, if I get an inch of rain, those containers will fill and overfill, and then those two down there ha are the overfill. So they, I've got a, a line off the first two that once they fill up, the two at the bottom will start filling up also. So. We'll check that first thing in the morning and see how that's doing. So yeah, we got us a little bit of rain finally here, which is a good thing. And uh, the skies out there are really dark, 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 dark. And um, over here, you can see the uh, wet on the windows. And it's uh, blowing pretty out and pretty noisily out there, so it's going to be a real um, interesting night. I got uh, awakened this morning at uh, 5 a.m. or 5:30 a.m. and uh, it was just starting to rain at that point. So, watching uh, Newsnet news as it used to be, and. Uh, being updated on the tropical storms and that stuff. I don't know if they're going to get to this storm or not, but anyway, 
that's all I really have for tonight. I just wanted to get all of that in and let you know what was going on over here. So this is G Bear reminding you to give thumbs ups down there. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Oh, zoom back out. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And uh, let's keep this thing going. G Bear signing off.